Right, our Hawks fans, welcome back to, I think it's our fourth edition for 2016 of Ask a Hawk, and uh, obviously brought to you by Victoria Responsible Gambling Foundation. So thanks, guys, for jumping on board, and uh, it's a pretty special week this week. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a 300 gamer on Ask a Hawk, so uh, welcome, Shawnee Burgoyne. Thanks, mate. I feel, <laughs> feel privileged to be on here, the number one ranked show. The number one ranked show on Hawks TV. Even Shawnee's talking about it, guys. Uh, congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. Um, it's an honour to play with you, and um, yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting tomorrow night. You looking forward to it? Yeah, no, I'm pretty excited. Got a lot of family and friends coming um, against Adelaide Crows at the MCG on Friday night, so good to ask for a bigger game to play. And I'm sure Shawnee will probably have a nice, fresh, uh, sharp haircut for Friday night. Uh, we'll rip into it. We've got Kath. Uh, she says, congratulations on your 300th game. What other sport would you have liked to have played if you didn't play AFL? <laughs> um, well, there's a lot of us here in the club um, who like NFL and, and, and NRL rugby. So um, not that I'd be any good, but because a lot of us have got a really good interest in, in those sports. Uh, one of those two. Oh, I won't be picky. So <laughs> I think Sean's been pretty modest there. I reckon he would have been a star in the uh, NRL or the NFL. Uh, a couple of your hits we just watched weren't bad. Uh, we've got any. Do you have any advice for young athletes that want to make it in their sport? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're pretty much only going to get out what you put in. If you put the hard work in, uh, no matter what sport, um, you know, the, y you, you will get rewarded at some stage. And that's the same with us when we train. We only get rewarded when we train hard. Um, so that advice probably goes for all young kids out there. Train hard. Are you a hard trainer, Shawnee? <laughs> One of the hardest. You know that. <laughs> Uh, we've got M4 Hawks. I don't, I don't know who this is. M4 underscore Hawks. Uh, who is your favourite AFL player when you're growing up? And I guess I'll take it one step further. Who's your favourite now as well? <laughs> um, yeah, growing up, it was uh, Gavin Wanganin um, was my childhood idol, and I got to play with him at Port, so I was really lucky. Um, and across the league now, who's my favourite player? I think everyone says Cyril. <laughs> um, pretty exciting. We get to train with him and uh, we get front row seats every week when we see him flying for marks or tackling from behind. So he's m one of my favourites and definitely one of the most exciting players I've, I've seen play the game. Yeah, um, I'd have to second that. Cyril's a star, but um, I think your tape that we just watched wasn't too bad either. Uh, we've got Julie Hawkdale. Um, I don't think your parents put that as your middle name, Julie, but we'll run with it on Ask a Hawk. Uh, what is your best memory out of the 300 games you've played? You've, I reckon you've got a couple. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a couple. My best memory, um, it, it would be the grand finals. Um, after, just after the siren, when you get to enjoy the, the premiership with your teammates and you see all the support staff come on, the family and friends, and you just get a, an idea and understanding of how much behind the work and how behind the scenes work people do and actually how much people are involved in helping us get to a premiership or to a grand final. And um, those first probably half an hour on the oval and then in the change rooms is with your, your tight knit family and friends. Um, it's probably the, the best moments of, um, of my career so far. Uh, we've got Kelvin. Uh, congrats on your magic 300 games, Silk. Who's the biggest nerd at the club? <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that one coming, Kelvin. Uh, we've got a couple, Kelvin. There's a few nerds here. Um, I'll probably say um, Will Langford, yeah. number one. He's, um, he's definitely a nerd, um, followed by Big Pitto. Yeah, Pitto Big Pitto. Second. So those two rock off for first and second. And who do you reckon's third? Yeah. <laughs> well, we had Big Snoz on here last week, and I'd have to say he's a nerd. Will would have to be the number one geek. He tries to use words around the club that no one <laughs> understands. Uh, and then uh, coming in third. I reckon we can raffle third. There's... Um, <laughs> there's a few, there's a yeah. few. Um, uh, Lockie, 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 Lockie Langford. I was going to say, Lockie Langford's yeah. definitely. But or even Sam Mitchell. He portrays that he's, you know, this big tough guy, but I reckon deep down he's a bit of a nerd. He, he loves reading books when we go on away trips. Yeah. <laughs> um, How many uh, books have you read in your life? Um, maybe one. <laughs> I'm halfway through it. And that's Sean Burgoyne's autobiography. I'm halfway through it. <laughs> uh, we'll get on to the final question. I think... Uh, Oh, no, that, that's it. Um, Matt's had an absolute shocker today, guys. He's thrown us under the bus here. He's, uh, he's held us up. 
but uh, Kath, you had two questions in and are exactly the same. So, Sean, thanks for joining us on Ask the Hall. Thanks for having me, guys. And uh, congratulations on a brilliant career and hopefully a few more games to come. Maybe a couple more. See how we go. When are you going to retire? Oh, I don't know. See how we, see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, maybe, um, yeah, maybe uh, we'll talk about that next episode, um, our relationship, eh? On and off, on the field. Yeah, Shawnee and I have had a bit of a uh, touchy relationship on and off the field. We love each other, but um, yeah, maybe next next episode or well, we'll next time up, you're on. We'll just hit up on the captain why he hasn't been invited on the show. So I think he's next in line. I think I think we're getting Luke Hodge on next week, guys. So uh, you want to be tuning in. The two probably biggest stars at the Hawthorne Football Club, Sean Burgoyne followed by Luke Hodge. So... You're going to have to join us on Hawks TV's Ask a Hawk number one show. So, uh, Hodgie next week, it's uh, going to be brilliant. I think this is the first time I've ever known who we're getting next week. So, buckle up, tune in, guys, and uh, make sure you've got your popcorn and your scarves and all that ready for tomorrow night because it's going to be an absolute ring dinger and uh, Sean Burgoyne's 300th game. Thanks, guys. <laughs>